Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 4.30 on Saturday, October 21st, and I thought we'd do a review of the week previous, um, going from October 16th through the 20th of 2017, uh, which, as you can see from the chart, was uh, quite volatile and overall bearish. Uh, we ended up a little bit lower than where we started the week out. Um, and uh, But uh, anyone's guess as to where we're going next, uh, we could be heading back to 52 and above, or um, given the fact that we've cracked below 51 for the first time in a while, um, and when I say in a while, here's the chart of the last month. And uh, the last time we were below uh, 51 was oh, actually not that long ago, uh, mid-October. So it's just only been two weeks, I guess. Um, seems longer. <laughs> um, so here's back to the uh, one week chart here. Um, but in any case, yeah, we have touched below uh, $51 for the first time in a little over a week, apparently. Um, so we could very well be going down and uh, with my position back into full-blown shorts, you know how I feel about it. Um, in terms of what happened in my case, basically I was able to profit uh, for the first time in a while on both shorts and longs. Um, I took profits on three shorts. Um, in two sales and uh, on a long position once. Um, so we basically we climbed up ahead of the open on Monday and I shorted there um, and sold on the Tuesday when uh, we dropped. And then when we bounced back up, I bought short again on Tuesday. And when, so, so basically I Bought at the short here, sold it near the lows. We bounced back up about halfway. I shorted again. Um, and on the following Wednesday, uh, Tuesday we basically didn't do much. We started moving up. On the following Wednesday, I shorted again near the highs. I missed this opportunity to sell, of course. Um, and then on Thursday, I was able to take profit on those two previous short positions. And when we dropped, um, here to about 50 to the lower 51s I went long um, and managed to sell that right where we closed the week out at 5170 which was pretty much the high um, for the week or for that day I should say it would have been nice to get in on this um, on these lows from Thursday but what you see here actually happened in Asian and European trading and with the close of Asian trading at 6 a.m. on Friday uh, That's uh, Eastern time uh, We basically climbed back up steadily for the rest of the day and uh, Here in North America. We never saw lower yet. We actually never saw below 51 ourselves. Uh, I think the lowest we saw was uh, 5109 or 5111 something like that um, so that was the lowest that we got to see in North America, um, but uh, which was not much lower than where my long position was purchased at 51.24, and I sold that for uh, just about 2%, 1.9, 1%, um, and uh, $205. So here you see the short purchase on October 16th. That was the Monday that I per that I purchased it. Sold on the Tuesday, October 17th, for just over 2% and $344. And then on the Thursday, I sold the shorts that were purchased on that same uh, Tuesday and Wednesday um, for a combined uh, portfolio weighting of 20% and sold for a total profit of $578 thereabouts. Um, Friday, October 20th is where I got to sell the long position purchased on that th previous Thursday um, for, like I said, 1.91% and a uh, profit of $205. Uh, so that was a total profit for the week of $1,127, um, which was nice, of course, but uh, especially nice because I was able to take profits on both long and shorts. And as you guys know, um, it's been a while since I've had the opportunity to buy a long. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely liking the op you know, having greater balance in the portfolio as well as in the results. And... Uh, um, but unfortunately, with that sale, I am back exclusively in the shorts now. Um, so I purchased short again um, when we did bounce. Um, I, I purchased short at 51.60, which was the high here before the decline, um, missing the, the high where, of where we actually closed. 
Um, but I did buy very small, just a 10% weighting on that last short position because I did suspect the chance that we would be heading towards 52 where I'd like to purchase um, a little bit more if we do get there. But my lack of confidence in getting there is why I sold the long position where we closed out the week, um, which was not even 2%. Um, I would have liked to see that sale closer to 52, but uh, yeah, you got to take what you're given and I just don't know if we're going to get there or not. And any decline whatsoever um, to the lower 51s is a great opportunity to repurchase that long, which is what my plan is going forward if I do get that chance. With the short position most recently purchased at 51.60, a purchase, a repurchase I should say, of a long position somewhere in the low 51s would be a great hedge for that short as well as um, help me rebalance the portfolio once again. Um, if we head down below 51 of course then I've got that new short. Um, my next short isn't until um, 5070 but having that short gives me the option to sell both that and the 5070 short for a combined average um, somewhere around 51 after paying commissions. So um, it's just basically about creating options and giving me ways to get out of some of the um, short positions and rebalance with some longs in preparation for more bullishness if we do get that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my week past and what my thinking is for the week ahead. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you can hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc, etc. Um, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading on Monday morning at or before 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.